Hi, I'm Philip and today I will show you how to improve uh, the growing conditions of a uh, recently planted tree so uh, that it will quickly grow and produce a nice crop uh, very soon. Here's a sweet chestnut, that's Castanea sativa, and it was planted last year um, in, in autumn and uh, it's, it's a hybrid between European and Japanese chestnut, so it's, um, it's resistant uh, to, um, to chestnut cancer. And it's grafted, so it won't live that long as a, as a chestnut growing fr grown from seed. Um, but it will produce some very nice crop very soon, I hope. And it's protected by this, um, by this grid, which is zinc coated. So it's very resistant to, to weather and moisture. It will last several decades. And it comes on a big roll and you simply take um, a piece of one meter and roll it around or it will almost yeah, roll around itself. And then you simply bend some hooks in here and you can hook it together. So this is well protected against all kinds of animals. Um, even goats won't really make it through this grid. And it's secured by a, by a post, which is um, dug into the ground for about 60-70 centimeters. The protection opens easily from top to bottom, so that you can reach the stem and the surroundings. Then the buds can be broken off so that all the energy goes into the development of the canopy of the tree. We then remove all of the competing vegetation around the tree, so that it doesn't take away nutrients that otherwise the tree could benefit from. Of course, we have to be careful not to damage the roots. We also remove the vegetation on the outside, so that the tree gets more room to grow without competition. With young trees, I remove quite a bit of the vegetation so that there's absolutely no hindrance for the tree roots to grow. In bigger trees you can do this under the whole canopy. Then we dig out a little ditch around the tree without harming the root system. This ditch is then filled with charcoal or, or biochar which uh, was soaked in urine for two to four weeks so that it contains all of the nutrients, like phosphorus and nitrogen and all of the other nutrients. The urine can also be separated and be spread among the canopy of older trees. Here we add it because it's not that intense anymore, because the nutrients are in the coal already. The roots can then grow into this area and benefit from the nutrients. Next, we add some animal manure, like horse manure, that is well seasoned. Or, that's even better, we add a ripe compost containing a lot of soil life like earthworms and uh, beneficial bacteria. At last, we mulch the area around the tree with organic material like grass cuttings from mowing a meadow. The mulch protects the soil from dying out and prevents competing vegetation from growing quickly. It mustn't be too thick so that it doesn't get moldy and on the other hand it mustn't be too thin so that the soil stays nicely moist. So I showed you how to improve the growing conditions of a recently planted tree um, to get it to producing a nice crop very, uh, very soon and we used nutrient loaded charcoal from the composting toilet system we used manure or compost and we used a mulch of recently mowed grass to cover up everything and uh, protect the trees from competition by weeds. And I hope this helps you with your own garden design, with your forest garden and with planting trees. Thanks.